I'll start the right committee. Um, it's good to have everybody here. Maybe we could add ourselves to the minutes. Welcome, everybody. So just take a second and add yourself to the minutes. That would be great. Um, I'm going to look back through the, I will go open this up. Um, share my screen here. All right, so this is last week. Maybe we could take a look if there were any action items from last week that need to be attended to. So I did on. add something to today's agenda too, just so we know. Did you? Uh, yeah, I added that trust and safety metric. Okay. Um, cool, thank you. So looks like Sean had an action item that we will be um, deferring. I don't think he's gonna be here today. So uh, yes, an enforcement component to code of conduct metrics and something, I feel like that was me. So maybe we could take a look at that today as to how we want to include that. Um, new metrics. Is the metric that you put in there, Elizabeth, is that part of this action item set from last week? Yeah, I took the trust and social capital one and made a new metric from it. Even though I know it was Matt's action item, I kind of swooped in and <laughs> took that one. Sorry, <laughs> Matt. <laughs> All right, so do we, could you maybe tell us a little bit about that and give us some background from last week or? Yeah, yeah, so um, so there was an article about inclusion in the workplace, um, some metrics, uh, it was going around and it was like the top, I don't know, five metrics of um, what was, I guess, important or crucial to this feeling of inclusion in the workplace. So um, I looked at those and there were a few that we did not have metrics around. So um, that's where those ideas came from. There was, um, I think, psychological safety. I um, can't remember what the other ones were, uh, but fair, oh, fairness and um, psychological support. So um, I just took the trust and safety one uh, and just started developing a metric from scratch based on it. Um, so we can look at it now, we can look at it later, whatever we want to do. I'm muted. I think let's take a look at it now. So I think that would be cool. Um, so for those, if somebody could drop that into the chat for folks on the call, that would be nice. So is this, I'm gonna stop my share for a second. Is this also tracked in our spreadsheet, you know? Oh, I did not put it in there, no, sorry. Okay, no, no. thank you <laughs> for doing this. <laughs> no apology needed. Um, so, all right, I'm sorry, I'm a little disjointed here. So here's our tracking spreadsheet. So for those of you that are newly joining the call, this is where we do just that, track all of our metrics work. And so maybe we could start here, Elizabeth, do you know where this, the trust and safety metric was where the thought was? Is this with respect to maybe project and community? Yeah, that's where I would see it going. Okay. Either that or um, I guess a case could be made for the um, uh, communication can. inclusivity, but it seems a little deeper than that. Communication inclusivity um, to me kind of just represents the words that are being used. Okay. I think that this kind of concept is a little deeper than Gotcha. So wait, was it on the list that we have here? 
was this was trust and safety one of these metrics yeah. that we were considering it was, it was nowhere <laughs> it was nowhere all right <laughs> I completely skipped that part, this whole stuff. Yeah, so I'm going to um, insert. So this would be trust and safety. This is, we'll put this in progress. And could somebody drop the, I can do it really quickly. Yeah, I can. Wait. Uh, I got it. Okay, um, so yeah, let's take a look at trust and safety. So the, the premise of the metric, thank you, Justin, for already having a go at this. Um, so I think the premise, if I understand right, is really, I think it's captured well in the question. So, and this is not just about contributions, it looks like. Oh, con contributing and participating. So just kind of being a member of the community. All right, so why don't we, maybe we could pause the recording for just a little bit. Are we recording? Yeah, yeah we are. Yeah, we are. I can pause uh, it. Pause it and typically, that seems like a great thing. Um, I just wanted to, to um, give people a, a heads up. There's a new open source project that is starting. It's called the All In Project. It's, um, it's, there's a group of us that are involved in the chaos project. And then there's also a group of folks um, from GitHub. So Demetrius Cheatham is, is really leading a lot of these efforts. And it's around open sourcing, diversity, equity, and inclusion. So how do we talk about DEI efforts um, in, an, in an open source context. And right now there's, it looks like there's two working groups that are starting to form out of this. One is all in for students. And so it's to work with students who um, right now are at, at HBCUs, historically black colleges and universities who may not otherwise have opportunities to participate in open source projects or open source internships. So what are the, the ways that we can make those connections and the open source part there is thinking through the processes and documentation and points of connection that can be made in the all in for students. And then the other, the other working group is all in for maintainers. And the idea here is that as an example, there could be a maintainer who has open sourced a project. That project was open sourced with the intention of really just open sourcing the software and DEI was not uh, an immediate consideration in that open sourcing, but over time, the maintainer or maintainers would really like to center DEI in their projects, but they're not entirely sure how to do that. Um, and so the all in for maintainers is a program to help just that help maintainers center DEI in their projects. And the open source part there is <laughs> what would such a program look like? What would documentation look like? How, how would this work at scale? Not entirely sure. Um, and so this is what the all in project is. So I thought I'd, I'd put that out there to this group. There may be people who have, have interest in, in hearing more. And I, I, the, from what we're learning in the chaos DEI reflection is I think gonna help inform the all in for maintainer side because through the work of this, our own internal reflection, um, we're learning a lot <laughs> and we're trying, you know, like the, with the office hours, with the translations, with the Slack channels, like we're, there's a lot that we're doing in this project to try to improve inclusivity. Um, and these could translate into say the all in for maintainer side of all in, like helping other people do, other people do, or the survey that we're, that we would roll out um, maybe in the next month to, to understand inclusivity in the project. These could help other maintainers as well that want to do something similar. Um, so I just thought I'd put that out there. There's, I think there's a point of connection. This is not all in is not a chaos project. It is its own project unto itself. The second is um, as part of the DEI reflection. You know how we have the metrics template that we use in the development of metrics. So we've been taking a look at all the entire set of chaos metrics. And of course, there are metrics that um, are very um, 
very centered on DEI, they come out of this working group. There are other metrics that are located in other working groups that could potentially speak to DEI. So for example, I think we were talking about like time to first response could be a metric that could have some signal towards DEI. And so right now we're working through what some of those points of connections could be and why time to first response might be a consideration with respect to inclusivity, like how that metric could help understand inclusivity. So one of the proposals is First, let's think about this. You know, are there are there metrics that live in other working groups that do have a DEI component to them? And if they do, sh should there be an update to the template um, that tries to, to kind of identify that point of connection? So I don't know if people have comments on that. Again, I'm just bringing this forward to this to, to this working group. Just as an aside, um, in the evolution working group this morning, we we're also talking about another potential change to the metric regarding data ethics. Um, so I added that to the community call as a topic of conversation as well. Um, both this de adding a DEI component to the template and adding that data ethics consideration um, component. And I think Kevin had some other things. Kevin Lombard had some other things on his list of potential changes to the template. So um, this can also be part of a little bit bigger conversation um, that we can have in the community call too as well. Okay. It's already on the agenda. So just letting you guys know that. Gotcha. Thank you. I've got an idea that's been swimming in my head for a while. I think I need to get it out too. Um, we, I think we need a concept of, this is my idea is uh, intersectional metrics or um, interdisciplinary metrics, whatever you want to call it. You can put a little I next to the metric because we have to define them differently in different working groups. But then you could say, identify somehow with a star or something and say, this metric lives in more than one place with more than one goal kind of thing. I don't know. That's my, it's been in my head and I've been needing to say it somewhere, but. <laughs> You're getting a plus one from Justin. So, and I, I think that is kind of what we're talking about here too, right? Um, all right, cool. Thank you, Matt. And just one more comment on that. I think it's, um, I'm a huge fan of adding that, added, adding a DEI um, component to the template because I think it really does show that we are centering DEI in every single thing that we do, not just this working group and not just, you know, bits and pieces here, but every, Thing that we develop as a group, that is a top of mind consideration that we have. And maybe it doesn't really apply on, on every metric and that's totally fine, but at least it shows that we've thought about it and we've, we've made that deliberate um, prioritization of these issues. So I just wanted to throw that in there as my plus one for adding it to the template. Right on. Uh, thank you. Um, all right, so then I just, um, in the, the, last, the last minute too, I think, I'd just like to, to kind of say that we're, we're also going to be approaching inclusive naming within the chaos project. I know there's the inclusive naming project. So we're trying to identify like points of connection that we can not only develop metrics, because you know how we oftentimes like to kind of formalize the work that others, the good work that others are doing, but also think about inclusive naming um, within the project itself. So that's just FYI. All righty. I mean, that's spot on at 10 minutes to the hour, right? <laughs> um, thank you everybody for really the amazing feedback on both of the metrics and just the small discussions here at the end. So we will see many of you tomorrow and other days and all that kind of stuff. So take care. And for anyone who cares about dogs, this little boy got up on the table and asked for belly rubs Aww. in the middle of the meeting, and I've been giving, <laughs> I've been giving him what he wants. <laughs> Adorable. But that's a good ending. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Take care, all. Thanks, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye, everybody.